Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Pimidaka and I am Subhash Chandra. I know that it's been more than 2 months since I posted my last video. I really thank all my subscribers for watching my videos and I hope that uh, my videos are helpful to you in order to improve your piping design knowledge. I had to take off that's because that I had to do some personal work so that uh, I had to take off from my uh, I mean work life. I also kindly request you all to do so so that you can uh, do your some personal uh, stuff and you can look after your families, you can uh, look after your parents, you can do their work. There are many things that you can do on your free time actually. So without boring you about my uh, the vacation details, I wanted to get into today's video. The today's video we are going to talk about is the piping skills required for 0 to 5 years of experienced candidate. Yes, it is. So, what are the piping skills which is mandatory for those who are between 0 to 5 years of experience? Because these are the candidates who are at the very beginning stage of their career. So, they have to work on this in order to get into good companies, in order to get into good roles, in order to get into good job actually. So, uh, if you are above, uh, I mean, 5 years of experience, please forward this video to uh, those who feel uh, for them it will be helpful actually. So, especially this video is intended to help those who are uh, from 0 to 5 years of experience. So, let's get into the video. So, what are the skills that you need to have? Uh, as a piping skill for being a piping design engineer. The first and foremost for any piping uh, design engineer or any candidate who wanted to become a piping design engineer should have this first skill which is piping and PNID symbols. Yes, you must know the symbols in piping design right from pipes, pipe fittings, flanges, valves and PNID symbols. See, piping design symbols are entirely different than the PNID symbols. The reason why you wanted to know about the PNID symbol is that PNID is one of the very primary input for piping design. So, you must be able to read PNID. In order to read PNID, you should know the symbols of PNID. So, both pipes, pipe fittings, and piping, I mean uh, PNID symbols, you should know about it. Basically, the first level is about learning the symbols. So, the second, the second comes to the details of pipes and fittings. So, you should know everything about pipes and fittings. I know that there are candidates who are having 5 years of experience who do not know the difference between what is reducer and what is sewage. This should not be the case for you actually. You should know every inch of details that are pertaining for to the pipes and pipe fittings actually. So, I'll tell you what are the details that you have to look into it. In pipes and pipe fittings, you should know the types of pipes and types of pipe fittings available. And then you should know the difference between, let's say for an example, what is the difference between reduced T and equal T? What is the difference between short radius elbow and long radius elbow? You should know the difference between actually. So, you should know the types and you should know the differences between these fittings. And then you should know about the application, where we use reduced T, where we use swage, where we use long radius elbow, where we use nipple. So these are the things that you, you should aware about it. So basically when you get into piping, I mean pipes and pipe fittings details, you should know the types, differences, application and the fourth one is dimensional standards. You must know from where to pick these dimensions of these fittings actually. There are standards, I have uh, talked about those dimensional standards in one of my previous videos that you can look back into my videos to check the details of that actually. These are very important uh, informations for those who wanted to become a piping design engineer because these are very basic actually. You only then you will be able to clear any interviews. So let me narrate the point number two. Pipes and fitting details. In pipes and fitting details, you should know the types, you should know the differences, you should know the application, and you should know the dimensional standards. These are the four areas that you should know in pipes and fitting details. Okay. Now let's go get into the 
third level the third request skill uh, that i'm going to talk about is basically 2d drafting and 3d modeling so as i told you you should have a strong 2d drafting skill which is predominantly uh, the software that are used in market as autocad 2d uh, actually so you should have a strong draft drafting skill in autocad 2d and you should have a 3d modeling skill 3d modeling skill i have made a couple of videos in my channel you can go and check it actually basically we have sp3d and e3d pdms cad works so any 3d modeling that you are actually working on you should have a strong knowledge about it so the first three skills that let me narrate one more time the first one is the piping and pnid symbols and the second one is pipes and fitting details and the third is 2d and 3d softwares now let's get into the fourth one the fourth one you should know how to use pms so what is pms piping material specification so piping material specification is nothing but the list of pipe fittings which should be used in a particular service which will have the details of the fittings with the item number or the sap number with respect to the sizes actually i have also made uh, one particular video about piping material specification those who do not know about piping material specification you can go and check that video actually most of my videos are pertaining to the technical design basically so uh, the fourth skill you should have is that how to use you don't have to know how to prepare pre pms because you are uh, between 0 to 5 years of experience generally won't given this task to prepare piping material specification but you should know how to use pms because without pms you cannot execute your piping design work so please take this uh, document as a copy to your home try to read it try to understand it try to understand the uh, uh, i mean the the, the uh, chapters of um, uh, i mean try to understand the page by page try, try to understand the detail by detail in pms pms is nothing but piping material specification now let's go to the fifth skill that you have to have is the pnid now can you relate why i have mentioned pnid symbols as one of the first skill that you have to learn because you must be able to read pnid if you are a piping design engineer and saying you do not know how to uh, read pnid which clearly indicates that you have inadequate experience or you have inadequate knowledge because pnid is one of the very important input for piping design all piping design engineers should have an ability to read the pnid without any obstacle without any struggle basically so now let's go to the sixth skill so this is the last skill that i'm going to talk about for any piping design engineers who are between from 0 to 5 years of experience the last skill is you should know about the working cycle basically basically we can say job nature or work cycle anything you can say so i'll tell you the uh, how, how, what is uh, uh, it is all about actually see when we say the work cycle so being a piping design engineer you should know how to start your work and how to end your work so this is not about how to start the project or end the project this is only about the task which is given to you say for an example uh, if your senior engineer has given you a line to route from one point to another point first of all you should know what are the inputs required so you should ask him the kind of inputs that you need to have say for an example pnid is one of the input and the pms is another input you can ask any uh, existing uh, 3d model or you can check any existing piping layout or you can uh, check the line list you can ask n number of inputs you can ask the insulation details so these are the inputs that you have to ask actually so basically when we talk about the work cycle you should know how to start your work and how to end your work so your uh, the i mean the ending your work in the sense producing the deliverable that is required for the team say for example it could be a piping layout it could be a support drawing it could be a isometric or it could be just a 3d model actually so basically you should know how to get the input and how to execute your work and how to uh, finish your work so these are the uh, important skills that are required for piping design engineers who are between 0 to 5 years of experience in my uh, next videos or next to next videos i will cover the skills required for those who are uh, above 5 years of experience so that uh, that group of people i will be able to cover actually so let me narrate the skills that are required for 
piping design engineers once again those who are between 0 to 5 years of experience the first thing is that you should know about the piping and pnid symbols which includes pipes valves fittings and all symbols including piping design symbols and as well as pnid symbols and second is that you should know the details of pipes and, and fittings and third is you should be well well uh, conversed in your 2d and 3d uh, modeling drafting and whatever it is actually then the fourth one you should know how to use the pms PMS, I have already made one uh, particular video in detail. You can check. I have covered all areas in PMS so that that video will help you to understand what PMS is about. Those who haven't seen this document, okay. And the fifth skill is PNID. You should be able to read PNID, that's no excuse at all. And the sixth one is you should know working uh, work cycle. Work cycle is nothing but you should know how to start and end your work and how to uh, get the inputs and how to deliver your output at least for the part of the work that is given to you actually. So I hope that this video uh, will be useful for those who are between 0 to 5 years of experience and if you have any doubts or uh, anything you can comment on it. I will try to respond your comments actually. So I will meet you with another uh, fantastic video about the piping design. Until then bye from Subhash Chandran. Thank you so much for listening to me.